Yeah, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saguaro High School in Scottsdale. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage of Saguaro Sabercats varsity baseball, and the Sabercats finish up the Scottsdale Invitational today in a third-place game as the Sabercats host the Gilbert Tigers. Saguaro comes in with a record of 4-2. and two. Gilbert, the opponent today, 3-4 and four on the season. And Marcus Salaya, the leadoff hitter, for the Tigers, he's down no balls and two strikes to Saguaro starter Daniel Ackman. And a pitch a little bit low there for a ball, and it's one and two. These two teams met for the season opener just uh, 10 days ago, last uh, week ago Wednesday, in fact, over at Gilbert High School. And a one-two pitch, and that's fouled off third base side. And we'll stay at a ball and two strikes. That game close through five innings anyway. It was a 2-2 ball game after five. And then Saguaro with a big sixth inning as a breaking ball is outside, and it's two balls and two strikes. Sabercats scored eight times in the sixth inning. Gilbert uh, battled back, scoring six times over the final two innings. The final score, 13-8 in that one. And the ball fouled off at the plate, and we'll stay still at uh, now two balls and two strikes. So Salah, the leadoff hitter for the Tigers, Caden Tomlinson will bat second and play second base. Dustin Peterson, the shortstop, hits third. Hitting in the cleanup spot is the first baseman, Justin McAllister. Josh Moore will bat fifth and play left field. And pitch a little bit low there from Ackman to run the count full at three balls and two strikes. Natty Tapia, the center fielder, is in the number six spot for Gilbert. The seventh place hitter is the catcher, Austin Masterson. DJ Hurd DH is in bats eighth. Travis Goodman at third, bats ninth. And there's a swing and a miss, so it takes Ackman a couple of extra pitches here, but he gets a strikeout to start the ball game. And there's one down in the Gilbert first inning, and the batter is Caden Tomlinson. Now batting number 14, Caden Tomlinson. A lot of movement to, to get this game going here at Saguaro High School. This third place game originally scheduled to be at Arizona State at Packard Stadium, and that's what we talked about uh, last week when they were playing in the tournament as Tomlinson takes low for ball one. But uh, with a couple of different issues, they uh, either were not able to or decided not to use Packard, I guess kind of depending on the reasoning behind uh, the actual move as the count is 2-0 and oh here on Tomlinson. Ackman delivers the 2-0 pitch, and it's a comebacker. Ackman backhands it. He'll step a couple of steps over to first base, flip it that way, and that is the second out. So a ground ball, the second out of the inning, and the batter is Dustin Peterson. Defensively for the Sabercats, Austin Anderson starts in left field. The center fielder is Zach Gibbons. Chris Ackman is in right field. Turner Lee starts at third base. Matt Morris is the shortstop. Nick Lagusis is at second base. And Reed Austin plays first. Shane Stansbury catching today for Daniel Ackman. So two outs, bases empty, just underway top of the first inning. And Peterson fouls that one to the backstop for strike one. But uh, once the tournament people or the committee or the single person, I'm not sure you know who it is, but once they decided not to use Packard, then they decided to play each of the games at the home seed. As it pitches over for a strike and it's 0-2. And, and so then it was decided early in the week that Saguaro would host Gilbert, now, I guess after the uh, Tuesday games were played. And then the time changed a couple of times as the pitch is outside, and now it's a ball and two strikes. So I think originally the game was supposed to be at 10 o'clock. And then we got word later in the day on Wednesday that it had been pushed to 11. As long as both teams are here, the umpires were on time, and uh, we got underway just a minute or so after 1 o'clock, or after uh, 11 o'clock, I beg your pardon, as Ackman missed that one low and away, and it goes to the backstop. 2-2 two and two the count on Peterson. Justin McAllister next for Gilbert. And the 2-2, two -two, and that's fouled off. Now the play just got a piece of Peterson. Gilbert has been up and down through their first seven games. Again, the loss to Saguaro last Wednesday. Then they won two in a row and really 
couple of pretty nice wins. A one-run win over Desert Mountain. Another one-run win over Chaparral. As a breaking ball from Ackman is outside, and it's 3-2. and two. And they lost a slugfest on Saturday. We could go today to Desert Ridge, 20-11, the final on that one. And then maybe one uh, surprise in the record so far, a 9-2 loss to Notre Dame prep as that ball is lined into right field. That's a base hit as Peterson will make the turnaround first base and stop there. Two out base hit for the number three hitter and it brings up Justin McAllister. A 9-2 loss for Gilbert as they uh, lost to Notre Dame on Tuesday. That was a loss uh, against Notre Dame. Kelvin Pilot went five innings through really well for Notre Dame. Swing and a miss for McAllister for strike one. And Gilbert playing their fourth game this week as they, uh, after losing to Notre Dame, came back and got shut out by Red Mountain, lost that one six to nothing. And then bounced back with a win yesterday over Carl Hayden, 11 to one. Oh, that one came up and got a piece of McAllister as he's hit in the upper arm. So he's at first base, that'll push Peterson to second. Now two on with two outs for Josh Moore, the left fielder. Ackman going uh, up high there and Moore going after the first pitch, fouls it back and out of play. Looked like that one was elevated maybe up out of the strike zone. The set from Ackman in the one strike pitch and a ground ball over to the right side. That's grabbed there. Lagusis on to Austin and the side is retired. No runs, one hit plus a hit batter and two runners left for the Tigers in the first. After a half inning of play, it's Gilbert nothing and Saguaro coming up to face Alex Urbina. Austin Anderson steps in for Saguaro as he leads off for the Sabercats in the bottom of the first inning. Take the first pitch of fastball outside for ball one. So Anderson, the leadoff hitter, Zach Gibbons bats second. Chris Ackman hits third in right field. The cleanup hitter is the first baseman, Reed Austin. The five hitter is Matt Morris at shortstop. Then Turner Lace bats sixth at third. As Anderson fouls that one back to the screen, it's one and one. The DH today is Brett Adams as he bats for starting pitcher Daniel Ackman. The number eight hitter, the catcher, Shane Stansbury. And then Nick Lagusis rounds out the Sabercat order. Nick starts today at second base. There's the 1-1. One, one. That's inside. And it's two balls and a strike. Alex Urbina, the starter for Gilbert. And Anderson laces that one into center field. That'll slice away from the center fielder Tapia and get down for a base hit. So Austin aboard with a leadoff single. And Austin has had a good couple of days yesterday. Anderson five for five with a couple of runs scored. Now batting for Saguaro, center fielder number three. Two for four <laughs> on the game Tuesday against Chaparral. So a solid week, eight base hits this week so far for Anderson unofficially, just kind of looking back through the score sheets from the last couple of days. Now Zach Gibbons, the center fielder. And Gibbons going after the first one, fouls it back to the screen for strike one. Defensively for Gilbert, it's Moore, Tapia, and Salaya in the outfield. Goodwin, Peterson, Tomlinson, and McAllister third to first in the infield of Masterson catching for Urbina. Now the set and they turn and they throw to first base and the runner back. Urbina struggled a little bit here in the uh, opener, the uh, first week and a half of the season for Gilbert. He was the starter in the loss to Desert Ridge on Saturday. That's the last time he's pitched. But I think Gilbert uh, maybe a little bit in a situation. I mean, they're playing their fourth game of the week. So you're going to get deeper into your pitching staff when you start playing four games in a week. 
like they did last week, playing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in this Scottsdale Invitational. Now the set on the 1-1 pitch. And that's power down the right field line, but it's going to get well foul and out of play. And the count's one and two. But Urbina, the starter then for Gilbert last Saturday in the loss to Desert Ridge, only lasted an inning and a third. He gave up seven hits, seven earned runs, two walks and two strikeouts. Runner goes. There's a swing and a miss, and they throw to second base. Not in time. It's going to trickle away, and now Anderson is going to get himself to third base. And so the Sabercats able to take the extra base there. Interesting there. It looked in, as though Gibbons swung very late, and now Matt Gutierrez, the head coach for Gilbert, is going to come out and talk to the plate umpire. He wants to know about uh, potential batter interference there if uh, Gibbons came across the plate to get in front of Gilbert's catcher, Justin uh, uh, Austin Masterson, I beg your pardon. But it is a strikeout then for the first out. Anderson steals second and then goes to third on the throwing error. And the batter is Chris Ackman. And Ackman takes a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0-1. One pitch is low and away. It's one ball and one strike. Saguaro saw Urbina in the season opener last Wednesday. He came in in a 2-2 ball game after Justin McAllister threw the first five innings, allowed eight hits but only two runs. It's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Is hit into shallow right field. This might be trouble here coming in Celaya, and he won't get to it. It's down for the hit. And a run will come in for Saguaro, an RBI single for Chris Ackman. Ackman lifts that fly ball down the right field line. Celaya playing really into the alley in right center field, expecting Ackman to pull the baseball. And in fact, Gilbert likes to kind of pinch their corner outfielders in toward the alleys. They give up the lines a little bit more. But Aquin aboard at first with the RBI single as Sawara leads Gilbert one to nothing, and the batter is Reed Austin. Urbina sets and the pitch. And that's at the knees, near it anyway. Called first strike on Austin. It's 0-1. But again, it was a 2-2 ball game when Urbina entered in the sixth inning, and he did have some uh, fielding trouble behind him in that sixth inning as Urbina sets in the one strike pitch. And that ball hit pretty well and out to center field. Celaya going back, though, and he tracks it and brings it in for the catch, and that's the second out. Austin hit it pretty hard, but uh, just as he came up, Gilbert moved their outfielders, including Tapia, even farther around to pull, and that made it a little less of a run for the center fielder. Now Matt Morris with two outs and a runner at first base. And turn and a throw to first base. But uh, Urbina pitched just two-thirds of an inning in the sixth last week in the uh, season opener against Saguaro. Two-thirds of an inning, eight runs allowed, but only one was earned. He did give up six base hits and a walk. He gave up a grand slam to Matt Morris before being pulled. And it's Morris at the plate now as uh, He waits for the next one. It's on the way, and it's a slow tapper out towards short. Peterson has it. He'll pick it up, throw to first base. Close play over there, but out at first is Morris, and that'll end the inning as Matt grounds out to end the first. Sabercats get on the board, though, as they get a run on two base hits. There was one error and one runner left on base after one inning of play. It's Saguaro one and Gilbert nothing.
Manny Tapio leads off for Gilbert in the second inning. And he takes the first one low and outside for ball one. The 1 0 pitch on the inside corner, run under the hands for a strike, and it's 1 and 1. The 1 1 pitch. And a slow ground ball to the right side, grabbed there by Austin. He'll throw it on to Ackman in time. Good job for Daniel Ackman to get off the mound there for Saguaro. He broke immediately as soon as that ball was uh, hit over there on the right side. Now, for Gilbert, two, now one away Austin for Masterson. Austin Masterson. one nothing Sabre Cats top of the second inning. It's the third place game in the Scottsdale Invitational. And there's a ground ball over to third, grab there, and that throw on to first base is in time. Lease with the play at third, threw it right on the money to Austin at first. And a couple of ground ball outs start the second inning. And the batter is DJ Hurd. Now batting number four, DJ Hurd. First pitch to Hurd is low for a ball. The 1 0 pitch. It's outside and it's two balls and no strikes. Base is empty with two outs in the top of the second inning. Gilbert trailing Saguaro. One to nothing. The 2-0 pitch. Inside, 3-0. Ackman will try to come back here against the number eight hitter in the lineup to 3-0 pitch. And he missed a four-pitch walk to Hurd. He makes his way to first base, and the batter is Travis Goodwin. Travis Goodwin. Mitch and Gilbert with an 11-1 win yesterday. As the first one to Goodwin is a strike. Scored seven times in the fourth inning in that game. Only went five. Taylor Stapley threw all five innings, allowed just three base hits for the Tigers. Ground ball, that's foul though. I think it came back up and hit off the bat while well, Goodwin was still in the box and he falls behind 0 and 2. Heard with the lead at first, the 0 2 pitch. Just outside and it's 1 and 2. Didn't miss by a whole lot, but did look to be outside. And now Ackman will try to end it here. The set of the check of the runner who takes off in the one-two pitch. That's hit on the ground. A lace with a spin and a throw to first base. And ball uh, looked like it kind of handcuffed him, maybe came up a little bit on him. He's able to do a 360 and throw it right on the money to first base. And the side retired. A two-out walk, and the runner left at first. After an inning and a half, Gilbert trails Saguaro by a score of one to nothing. To the bottom of the second we go. Turner Lace leads off, trying to bunt his way on, and he bunts it foul. On the third base side, Lace, Adams, and Stansbury for the Sabercats in the second inning. Now, Desert Mountain, the only team in this six-team tournament that got through the round-robin play with just one loss. They finished 4-1. and one. And they face uh, Desert Ridge for the championship. And pitch at the knees, a strike, and it's 0-2. And then in the 
fifth place game today. Chaparral is hosting Notre Dame. The 0-2. It's outside. One ball and two strikes. Nod from Urbina, the wind and the one two, and that's a breaking ball low and outside. Two balls and two strikes. And the two two pitch. That's uh, bounced in there. Three balls and two strikes. It looked anyway like he just uh, overthrew that pitch. Trying to become a leadoff base runner here in the second inning. Sabercats leading Gilbert one to nothing. And a pitch outside as Serbina loses Lace. And it is a leadoff walk for Saguaro in the second inning. And the batter will be Brett Adams. Low for a ball. Lace with a pretty short lead over there at first. They're going to throw that away anyway, and he dives back. Up first base side, foul territory. McAllister can't get to it, just a little bit out of his reach there. And he had the railing to contend with in front of the Gilbert dugout on the first base side. So a foul ball, and it's one and one. As Lace goes, the pitch is low. The throw to second base. They got a chance out there and out at second as Lace 2 4 on the caught stealing. As Masterson put that one on the money out there and Tomlinson there to apply the tag. Two one, uh, and a called strike this time, and it's two and two. There be no back to the line of the two two, and a nice breaking ball on the outside corner. That's a called third strike. Second strike out of the ball game for Alex Urbina. And now he faces Sheen Stansbury. Now batting catcher number 19, Sheen Stansbury. First one a ball, I believe. The next one uh, offline drive, and that's over the head of the third baseman. Good one, and down the left field line. Trying for second base, and in there, way ahead of the throw is Stansbury. A two-out double, and now the Sabercats will run for their catcher as Dakota Risten will run at first base, uh, second base rather, I beg your pardon. Number one, 
Yeah, Nick Lagusis, the number nine hitter for the Sabercats. And the first one is outside for ball one. So our leads one to nothing as they bat in the bottom of the second inning. A nice comeback yesterday for Saguaro in their first PowerPoint game of the season, a win over Seton Catholic. Pitch foul back and out of play, and Seton was ranked in the uh, preseason rankings and uh, even in the rankings after the first week of the season that came out uh, earlier this week. Sabercats still in fourth spot. Seton, if I remember right, they were uh, sixth. And the Sabercats got their ace yesterday. Turn and a throw back to second base. The throw off the mark there, and Ristad dives back. But, uh, Saguaro faced Troy Ruggiero last, uh, last game. That was yesterday over at Seton. Struggled a little bit the first time through the lineup. And then on the other side of it, Seton scored five first inning runs. A ground ball foul. On the third base side, it's one and two. So Saguaro was down. 5 nothing after one inning. And then they scored seven in the fourth, seven again in the fifth, and three runs in the seventh inning. The final on that one, 17 to seven. All right, taking a little extra time out there. Now they sat as he checks back to second base in the pitch. That one didn't miss by much. A little bit outside, though, it looked like. And it's two balls and two strikes. Sabercats trying to bring in that run from second base. Ristead running for Stansbury, who doubled with two outs. The 2-2. Two -two. And a breaking ball, that's low, and it's three balls and two strikes. Check the runner, and Urbina steps off. Back to second once more. And Urbina delivers, and that's inside and low, and it's ball four. Second walk of the inning given up by Urbina, and it puts two aboard with two outs for Austin Anderson. Side corner to Anderson for a strike. Austin with a base hit and a stolen base plus a run scored back in the first inning. It's earning a back pick to first base, but diving back is Lagusis. Anderson hits a hard two hopper over toward the second baseman Tomlinson, who stayed with it and threw on to first base to retire the side. And the Sabercats are turned away in the second inning. No runs on one base hit. They also had a couple of walks, but a caught stealing a racer runner, and the Sabercats leave two on in the second inning after two. It's Sawara one and Gilbert nothing. It's the top of the order for Gilbert here in the third inning. Marcus Salaya takes high and outside for ball one. He struck out swinging to start the ball game. The 1-0 pitch. On the 
inside corner a strike, and it's one and one. So it's Celia Tomlinson and Peterson for the Tigers in inning number three. Pitch a little bit low, and it's two and one. Two one pitch. That's low from Ackman, and it's three balls and a strike. Daniels only given up one hit through the first two innings, but a hit batter and a walk. And the Tigers are left three runners on through the first two. And that pitch on the inside corner, a strike. So I tried to sort of kick the knee in there a little bit and then thought he had ball four, took a step toward first. And the 3-2, and a ground ball. That's off the glove of Lace and no play there. It was a pretty routine two hopper there and just uh, caught off the heel of the glove trying to backhand it. Now batting number 14, Caden Tomlinson. So runner, a leadoff hitter aboard and uh, Shalai at first base for Caden Tomlinson. Chopped foul on the first base side, and that's strike one. Tomlinson had a comebacker to Ackman in the first inning. There's Ackman with the set. And a ball popped up, shallow left field. And in to make the play is Austin Anderson, and that's the first down. Now batting number eight, Dustin Peterson. Now with one on and one out, the batter is Dustin Peterson. Ground ball hit sharp out to Morris at short, the out at second, and the throw on to first. Austin not able to pick up the throw that uh, bounced in there, but they'll get the lead runner on the four. 6-4 will retire Celaya, and then Peterson aboard on the fielder's choice at first base. Now batting number 29, Justin McAllister. First one to McAllister, low for a ball. Justin hit by a pitch his first time up. And there's a hard line drive and back up the middle and into center field. Gibbons up with it as the runner will stop at second base. Allister aboard for the second time as Peterson goes to second, and the batter is the left fielder, Josh Moore. Gilbert trailing one to nothing, and again, they've left three runners on in the first two innings, two in the first, one in the second. Now they've got two runners aboard here in the third inning trying to cash in against Daniel Ackman. And a swing and a miss on a pitch out of the strike zone, and it's 0-1. Or grounded out to Lagusas to end the first inning of play. Now the set and the one strike pitch. And a ground ball. Lagusas going to get another chance here. He's got it. He'll flip to Morris covering at second base. And once again, the Tigers are turned away. For Gilbert in the third inning, no runs on one hit, one error. And two runners left on. They've left five on through the first three innings. And we go to the bottom of the third. It's Sawara one and Gilbert nothing. Sabercats have to go to work in the bottom of the third inning. Two, three, and four in the order as Zach Gibbons will start things off. 
Zach struck out in the first inning, but it'll be Gibbons, Ackman, and Austin for Saguaro in the third. Urbina out there for another inning of work, and in his first pitch is a breaking ball to Gibbons over for strike one. Home plate umpire talking to Austin Masterson between innings. Talked to him a little bit during the last inning as well, and I don't know if it's to relay information back to the dugout, but I'm sure it's about the strike zone as the pitch is low and away, and it's one and one. And so you figure it's either communication back to the dugout about a location of pitches that have been called differently than what uh, Gilbert would like as the fastball is high and it's two and one. Or it's maybe talking to Masterson, telling him that he's got to maybe not try to sell it so much in, uh, in convincing the Gilbert people that uh, some of those pitches are strikes as the next one's outside. Three and one to count on Gibbons. to the wind and the 3-1 pitch. And that's outside and it's ball four. So third straight inning that Saguaro's gotten the leadoff hitter aboard. Anderson singled in the first and scored. Lace walked to start the second thing but was caught stealing. And we'll see what happens in the third with Gibbons on at first base. Chris Ackman at the plate. Ackman with an RBI single his first time up. First pitch outside, all the way into the uh, left-handed hitter's batter's box. Turn and a sidearm throw to first base, and Gibbons is back. Narvina has the sign, here's the set and the 1-0 pitch. Gibbons goes, the pitch is high, the throw to second base, and that's going to be a little bit late out there. Zach got a good jump, and he steals the base. And now time is called as Masterson will go out to chat with Urbina. As we get back to it, Urbina paints the outside corner with a fastball for a strike, and it's 2-1. One nothing, Saguaro. Sabercats have a runner in scoring position at second with nobody out in the third. The two one, and Ackman with a fly ball out to right field. Celia, long run to his left there for the catch. Boy, I think uh, maybe the Sabercats miss an opportunity there. I think you probably want to have that runner tag. So I had a long way to go, and so maybe the idea is that if the ball gets down, then you've got a chance to score. But I think that's something you want to read while the ball is in flight. And if you see that Salai is going to get over there, he was running away a little bit toward the line. And he had to turn and spin to get the ball back into the infield. And Gibbons with good speed I think definitely would have been able to make it to third base. Austin calls time as uh, Reed is set to face Urbina with Gibbons at second and one away. Reed with a fly ball to center field his first time up. And first pitch, outer half of the plate for a strike from Alex Urbina. Back to second, the one strike. And that's in there, but uh, low for a ball. It's one and one. Sabercats lead it one to nothing. The one one pitch to Austin. That's inside for a ball, and it's two and one. Solo home run 
to lead off the seventh inning yesterday for the Sabercats. Takes the next one outside, three and one. Checks Gibbons at second base as he comes set. The 3-1 pitch. And a fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble, but it's into foul territory. And just off the glove of the first baseman, McAllister. Tough play down the line there. McAllister gave chase. Good effort. Trying to catch it over the shoulder. Now three and two on Austin, trying to move Gibbons around from second base. And the three two, and a ground ball down the line at third. And a foul ball, that's called. Two, and that's uh, down in the dirt into the backstop. And a wild pitch will send Gibbons to third base as Austin gets the walk. It's the second walk of the inning and the fourth of the ball game for Urbina. Now yeah, Matt Morris with the runners at the corners and one out. And that's bounced in, and uh, now they got Austin hung up. And he's out by a couple of steps over at first base. Saw that ball bounce in there, and he thought it was going to get past the catcher, Masterson, but he made a nice play. And then he picks off Austin over there at first base. So another base running mistake here for the Sabercats. One to Matt Morris outside for a ball, and it's 2 0. Morris grounded out to end the first inning for the Sabercats. And the 2 0 pitch. That's high for a ball, 3 0. Well, Austin and did everything he could to try to get back to the base, but uh, almost would have been maybe better off to try to get in a rundown to see if either you can uh, get a bad throw somewhere or give the uh, runner at third an opportunity to come home. As Morris walks on four straight, third walk of the inning for Urbina, but he still has not been uh, touched for a run in this third inning, and now a timeout from the Gilbert dugout. Turner Lace will be the batter with the runners at first and third and two away. We play in the bottom of the third, and Saguaro leads Gilbert one to nothing. Turner Lace with a chance here for the Sabercats as he takes a strike on the outside corner. He walks to start the second inning. Throw to first base and the runner back. set from Urbina in the one strike pitch. And a fly ball into shallow right. Celia coming in and makes the catch. And Urbina able to pitch around three walks in the third inning. And Saguaro wastes a chance here 
After three, the Sabercats lead Gilbert one to nothing. Manny Tapia leads off and hits a fly ball to the left field. But Austin Anderson over just a couple of steps there for the catch. One pitch and one out, and it's a new Sabercat pitcher as Jake Schwartz is on to pitch the fourth inning for Saguaro. And now face Austin Masterson. And the first one to Masterson over for a strike. Masterson grounded out his first time up. So Daniel Ackman goes the first three innings for Saguaro. Allowed two hits, no runs, one walk, one strikeout, one hit batter. So we're going to miss there, makes it nothing in two. And now Swartz with the pitch. And a changeup on the inside corner fooled Masterson. He takes it for the third strike, and there's two away in the fourth inning. And now the batter is DJ Hurd. Jake's last appearance last Saturday against Notre Dame. Swartz went one inning, allowed one hit, two walks, no runs. That was in the sixth inning of that game against Notre Dame. Pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. Hurd walked his first time up. Gilbert trailing Saguaro, one to nothing, batting in the top of the fourth inning. And a swing and a miss and an off-speed pitch. It's 1-1. One and one. Sports back to it, the 0-2. And a fly ball into right field. And that's put away by Chris Ackman in right. It is a seven-pitch fourth inning for Jake Swartz. And it's the middle of the ball game from Saguaro High School. It's Saguaro 1 and Gilbert nothing. Bottom third of the order for Saguaro. In the home half of the fourth inning, and Brett Adams going after the first one, fouls it out of play on the first base side. Adams called out on strikes his first time up, and he faces a new Gilbert pitcher as Jacob Pettit is on to pitch for the Tigers. So each starter goes three innings in this one. The next one is low, and it's one ball and one strike on Adam. Sheen Stansbury and Nick Lagusis to follow for the Sabercats. Now the 1-1. One, one. And a fastball high, two balls and a strike. The line for Alex Urbina unofficially, three innings pitched. Three hits allowed, one run unearned, five walks and two strikeouts. Pitch, a called strike. Right at the top of the zone, I would guess, and it's two and two. Pettit with a two-two. And a fly ball out to left field. Moore on the run. And he brings it in for the first down. One down for Shane Stansbury, who doubled in the second inning. Now batting, number 19, Shane Stansbury. And Bennett's first one on the way. And it's a curve ball. It's high for ball one. Ball on a line drive, and that's down in front of Moore into left field for the base hit. Stinsbury two for two. And Ristad comes out to run for Stansbury at first base. Now 
batting number one, Nick Lagusis. Yeah, Nick Lagusis, the Sabercats second baseman. First one to Nick over for a strike. Lucas has walked back in the second inning. Check over to first base, a hang move, and then the throw to first, and our stand back standing. Well, it's that situation, if you're gonna put that runner in motion, he's really gotta go on first move against a left-hander. Pitch to Lagusis outside for a ball. It's one and one. One nothing Saguaro. Sabercats batting in the bottom of the fourth. Got it with the set of the pitch. And that's popped up first base side foul territory. And that's out of the reach of the catcher. Good hustle there for Masterson, but didn't have enough elevation on the pop-up to get to it there, and the count moves to a ball and two strikes. Runner at first base and one away in the bottom of the fourth inning. Austin Anderson on deck for Saguaro. Petter with the set as he checks to first base. The runner goes. The ball bounced in there, and it'll go to the backstop. And now got a chance for a runner at third. Oh, that's going to get into left field, and the Sabercats are going to steal a run here. Well, that was uh, ugly on both sides, but uh, the Sabercats turn it into a run. It's a stolen base for Stansbury for uh, Ristad running for Stansbury, I should say. He goes to third on the wild pitch, and then it looked like he was going to be out by a mile at third base, but Masterton's throw nowhere close. As he threw it in uh, about uh, through the coach's box over on the third base side and out into left field, and Stansbury's runner, Ristad, scores easily, and the Sabercats go up 2 nothing. And now a ball into left center field. Oh, that's going to get over the head of the left fielder more as he gave up on it. He thought he was called off on the play, and he actually pulled the glove down. And it goes all the way to the fence, and Lagusis gets a double. Tough luck here, really, for Pettit as Masterson is out to talk to him. It's a 2-0 lead for Saguaro. Now Lagusas at second with one out of the batter, Austin Anderson. We talked about it earlier that Gilbert likes to play their outfielders kind of shaded into the alleys, and so it really looked like Moore was going to have a chance on that fly ball out to left center. He put the glove up and then pulled it down almost as though he thought he was being called off by the center fielder, Tapia. Now Anderson hits one back up the middle. That's grabbed behind the bag at second and the throw onto first base. That's a sharp play there by the shortstop, Dustin Peterson. The ball came off the bat, looked like it might sneak through. But Peterson with a nice play. Lagusas goes to third. And now the Sabercats will look to bring a runner in from third base with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Sawara leading Gilbert two to nothing. Given struck out in the first and walked in the third. Zach trying to bring that runner in. And he takes a strike on the outside corner. Now the one and the one strike pitch. And that's bounced in there. It's one and one. Saber Cats get a run here in the fourth inning. The crowd goes quiet, the one one pitch. And that's high, two balls in a strike. Mm, 
Yeah, there's already been one wild pitch in the inning. Another one would bring in one more for Saguaro. They'll take it any way they can get it. The 2-1, though, is high. And it's three balls in the strike. Chris Ackman in the on-deck circle for the Sabercats. Pat at the left hand or into the line, the 3-1. And uh, pretty good cut there for Gibbons, but he fouls it back and out of play, and the count's 3-2. and two. Pettit into the line of the 3-2. And he lost him. That's high and outside for ball four. Gibbons walks for the second time today. That's the sixth walk given up by Gilbert Pitchers. And now we'll see what Chris Ackman can get done here with runners at first and third and two away. the set as he looks to first base and the first one on the way it's outside for ball one and now the pitch and that's low for a ball and it's two and oh Gibbons runs well over at first base. He's got a stolen base already today, but the question is against the left-hander, a little more uh, dangerous to guess on first move. And you don't necessarily want to take the bat out of the hands of Chris Ackman. As Chris swings and misses for a strike, it's two and one. Pat with the set again as he looks to first base, the two one pitch. That's outside, and it's three and one. Lagoose is running at third base. Gibbons aboard at first with two down in the Sabercat fourth inning. So Orles pushed a run across, and they lead two nothing. Pitch near the outside corner, a called strike, and it's three and two. Well, now Gibbons will take off, but you still, with a left-hander up there, you want to make sure that that uh, move is to home plate. And a 3-2, and that's hit on the ground, and that's uh, picked up the throw on to first base. And that is in time as Ackman grounds out to end the Saguaro fourth inning. Sabercats get a run on two hits. There was an error, and there were two runners left on through four from Saguaro. It's the Sabercats, two. And the Tigers nothing. Gilbert sends up 9-1 and 2 here in the fifth inning as Travis Goodwin goes after the first one. And it's a high pop-up behind the bag at second. Going out the second baseman, Lagusis, with the catch. Good play there for the uh, second baseman, Lagusis, going out. Fighting uh, sunshine a little bit there. Now Marcus Celaya, who has struck out and reached on an error. And he'll hit a fly ball out to center field. This one deeper, and it'll be the center fielder, Gibbons, there for the catch. Two down. Schwartz only threw seven pitches to get through the fourth inning, and now he's got two pitches and two outs here in the fifth. And you figure Caden Tomlinson's got to take a strike here. He will. Schwartz knows that, and he'll throw it down the middle. Ground ball, and Reed Austin with a diving stop. He'll flip it to Swartz, and it's a four-pitch inning for Jake Swartz. 
He's come on and retired six hitters in a row on only 11 pitches. And it's another three out, three down inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Gilbert trails Saguaro two to nothing. Middle third of the order for Saguaro in the bottom of the fifth. Reed Austin leads off. And going after that first one way out in front. Got just a piece to foul it off. The one strike pitch from Pettit and a curveball over for a strike. It's 0 and 2. Pettit ready. You have the 0 2. And Austin with a line drive. That's into right center field for a single and reads aboard for the second time after walking in the third. He had a fly ball out to center field in the first, but now it's Matt Morris who has grounded out and walked in his two trips. Now batting shortstop number six, Matt Morris. First one on the way to Morris. And it's a called strike. Check over to first base and the one strike pitch. It's outside and it's one and one. in there, two balls and a strike. Step and a throw to first and the runner back. Two and one on Morris. Runner at first base, nobody out in the bottom of the fifth. Saber counts up two to nothing. And Morris with a high fly ball. Medium depth out there in center field, and it's Tapia with the catch. So a fly out is the first out of the fifth inning, and the batter is Turner Lace. First one to Lace is high for ball one. Sabre catches two games next week. They'll be at home on Tuesday against Arcadia. And that's going to be an 11 a.m. first pitch on Tuesday. And they'll be on the road Wednesday at Shadow Mountain, 345 start. Pitch is on the inside corner. It's one and one. And then the Sabercats off the rest of the week next week. But those are going to be two PowerPoint games next week. The one one outside, two balls and a strike. takes off and a swing and a miss. No chance on a throw down to second base. So Austin swipes the bag. Got a good read over there and maybe Pettit lulled to sleep a little bit. Just uh, slow to the plate. Pettit steps off. Austin at second base, two and two. The count on Lace with one out in the home half of the fifth. Sabercats leading the Tigers two to nothing. It's the third place game 
in the Scottsdale Invitational. Yeah, swing and a miss on an off-speed pitch. And Lease is the second out here in the fifth inning. And the batter is Brett Adams. Now batting number 10, Brett Adams. First one to Adams, high and outside for a ball. Brett called out on strikes in the second and flied out in the fourth. Baseball out there for Pettit. And now the left hander sets in the 1 0 pitch. That's high and outside, two balls and no strikes. A good week for Saguaro baseball already this week with a chance to get even better if they can hang on here, leading 2 0 in the bottom of the fifth. But a win over rival Chaparral on Tuesday as Adam swings and misses, it's 2 and 1. And then not only the win on Tuesday, but then a win in a PowerPoint game yesterday, the first PowerPoint game of the season for Saguaro. Nice one outside. Three balls and a strike if Adams can reach. Shane Stansbury is next for Saguaro. to second base and the 3 1 pitch and uh, Adams that one thought uh, that one missed but it caught the outside corner of strike three and two the count three and two on Adams to bring Austin in from second base and nowhere close on the 3-2 pitch. A breaky ball that really didn't and Adams walks. And now time called as Masterson is out to talk to Pettit. Shane Stansbury takes the first pitch outside for a ball. Shane with a double in the second and a single in the fourth. The next one low and outside, two balls and no strikes. Now Pettit has not really pounded the strike zone here in his two innings of work. Inning and two thirds, I guess, to this point, trying to get the final out in the fifth. One outside three and zero, oh, and it's almost like the uh, wildness has been somewhat effective as it's kept Saguaro from uh, being able to really lock in on him. He had a walk in the fourth inning and a walk already in the fifth, and now behind three and zero oh to Stansbury with Nick Lagusis next for the SaberCats. The three zero, oh. and that's outside for ball four, and that will load the bases. So back-to-back -back walks. And a timeout coming from the Gilbert dugout. And a courtesy runner as Ristad is out to run once again for Shane Stansbury. And we get uh, the Gilbert timeout as we play in the bottom of the fifth inning. Saguaro leading Gilbert 2 to nothing. And the Tigers stick with Pettit here in the fifth inning as he'll face Nick Lagusis, the Sabercats with a change on the base paths as the ball is fouled off on the first base side for strike one. Lagusis with a walk in the second and a double in the fourth. But the uh, 
Sabercats make a change out at second base as Brett Adams is pulled uh, off the bases and Max Reich will be the pinch runner. The one strike pitch and a fly ball hit to left field sending Moore back. He's not going to get it. Boy, he should have caught that one out there just uh, out of his reach. Wasn't really going hard at it as uh, he thought it was going to be pretty routine out there in left field and it uh, continued to carry and he does not bring it in and that's going to open things up for the uh, Sabercats here in the fifth inning as they score three runs on the misplay in left field and Saguaro goes up by a score of five to nothing. So a three-run fifth inning for the Sabercats, and now Austin Anderson will bat with Lagusas at second base. And still two away in the inning. Anderson going to bunt, and that's a base hit. Pettit's going to put that one in his pocket. So that'll put runners at the corners with two outs for Zach Gibbons. Gibbons, a strikeout and a couple of walks and three plate appearances. First one down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble, but it's foul by a foot or so. And that's strike one on Zach Gibbons. Nothing and one on Gibbons. Sabercats leading now 5-0. in there and it's one and one. Still working on that situational hitting here trying to get that runner in and there's a hard shot and that's going to take a bounce and get past the shortstop into center field. It's an RBI base hit for Zach Gibbons and it's six nothing Sabercats. Chris Ackman at the plate. And Ackman fouls one out of play. Now back to it here as uh, umpire was out of baseball, so they got some in to the ball game here. And a throw down to the second base. And hustling back there was Austin Anderson. Ackman, the ninth to bat in the inning for the Saber catch. They have scored four times, and they lead six to nothing. One uh, near the outside corner, anyway, a strike, and it's one and two. The one two from Pettit and a breaking ball. Ground ball over to short, picked up there to throw and out at first base. Ackman grounds out, and that'll end the inning. Picked out nicely over there by the first baseman, Justin McAllister. But the Sabercats send nine to the plate in the fifth inning. They score four times, and after five innings of play, it's Saguaro six, and Gilbert nothing. 
Jake Schwartz going uh, out again in uh, one pitch, a fly ball to center field, and Zach Gibbons is there. Boy, talk about efficient relief pitching for the Sabercats. 12 pitches to get seven outs. You know what it is. I mean, I'm guessing anyway. It's those hitters going up there, and they're seeing a different guy than Ackman. Schwartz throws a little softer up there, and they're trying to get to get on him right away. As McAllister takes strike one. And they've not been able to do much with it. Now there's a pretty hard shot, and that's out into center field, and that's a base hit. One out single, that's the first base runner allowed by Schwartz as he had retired the first seven hitters he had faced. Now batting number 34, Taylor Stapley. <laughs> now Taylor Stapley pinch hits for the uh, Gilbert Tigers. Stapley will bat for Josh Moore, who misplayed that fly ball out there in left field that led to three more runs for the Sabercats. Six-nothing Saguaro top of the sixth inning. Stapley bats for the first time with McAllister at first. Schwartz throws the first one near the outside corner for a cold strike. The 0-1 and a ground ball out to short. Morris bobbles it. Only play then is to first base and it's in time. Well, he was close, but couldn't get that leg out there to tap the bag at second. So not able to get the lead runner but a ground ball. And Stapley is the out at first base as McAllister gets to second, and the batter is Manny Tapia. And first one, a fastball from Schwartz High for ball one. Tapia 0 for 2, a ground out, and a fly out in two trips. One bounced in there. And that runner at second base, McAllister, got into the head of Schwartz a little bit there, I think, as he took an extra step. And then it sounded like one of the infielders might have been Lagusis, but one of the infielders thought I heard him say step off. And that was just as Schwartz started to the plate. And it'll spin back to second base, but uh, way late on the throw. Two-o pitch. Yeah, that one didn't miss by a whole lot, but called a ball, and it's three and zero. There's a pitch on the corner for a strike, three and one. Runner at second base, two outs in the top of the sixth. Six nothing, Suaro. Pitch outside and it's ball four. First walk given up by Schwartz and it's two aboard now with two outs. And the batter is Austin Masterson. Masterson, the first guy to face Schwartz. Now batting for Gilbert, number 24, Austin Masterson. Now, bigger part, and it was actually Tapia. He hit a fly ball against Schwartz, so. Uh, Jake has faced 10, and now this is his 11th hitter. And a ball fouled out of play on the first base side. See the ball, hit the ball, 
Masterson grounded out in the second, was called out on strikes in the fourth. A look back to second, but no throw. You can understand Schwartz wants to keep that runner close at second base, but with a six-run lead in the sixth inning, way more important to work against the hitter as the pitch is outside, and it's one and one. Now the set and the one one. That's high for a ball, two and one. Now the bullpen quiet here for Sawara. The Saber catch with a six nothing lead. Doesn't mean they don't have a pitcher ready. It may be one of the guys already out on the field. And a ball fouled back out of play, and it's two and two. Two on and two out. Top of the sixth inning. And Gilbert down six to nothing. It's the third place game of the Scottsdale Invitational. Desert Mountain and Desert Ridge playing for the championship. Chaparral and Notre Dame playing for fifth place. It's bounced in and blocked by Stansbury, and the count runs to three and two. Now the runners will take off here for the Tigers on a 3-2 count with two outs. And a 3-2. And a ground ball over to third. Grab there and a throw to first base. That uh, bounced in a bit, but Austin picks it up as Lace throws out Masterson. And the side is retired. No runs, a hit, plus a walk. Two runners left for the Gilbert Tigers, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning as Saguaro leads Gilbert six to nothing. Reed Austin leads off for the second inning in a row and takes a pitch high as we're underway in the bottom of the sixth inning. Tanner Hurt now on to pitch for Gilbert. Pitch inside, and it's 2-0, and oh, so... Jacob Pettit goes two innings, allows five hits, five runs, but only one earned, three walks, and one strikeout. Next one misses, three balls and no strikes. And pitch over for a strike, and it's three and one. Austin single to start the fifth inning. And I'll take that pitch high for ball four. A leadoff walk for the Sabercats in the sixth. And the batter is Matt Morris. Now batting shortstop, number six, Matt Morris. Turn in a kind of an off speed throw to first base, but Austin gets back. Reed did steal a base his last time out on the bases, and that was in the fifth. Uh, that one behind Morris. Turn and a throw to first base, and the runner back. Hurt sets and the pitch, and that's uh, over for a strike, and it's one and one. Leadoff hitter aboard here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Sabercats leading six to nothing. Another throw, and again Austin is back. The one one pitch off the handle and fouled off on the first base side. Again, Saguaro will play just uh, two games next week, and that's uh, a little bit of a break anyway. They played four last week. They played three this week. They'll host Arcadia on Tuesday morning. That's an 11 o'clock start. Ball fouled to the backstop. 
But 11 o'clock first pitch on Tuesday at home against Arcadia. And then on Wednesday, the Sabercats will be on the road at Shadow Mountain to play the Matadors. That'll be a 345 start over at Shadow Mountain. Pitch bounced in, and it's 2-2. Two and two. set from Hurt in the pitch. And that is popped up first base side, but that's out of play. Still two and two on Matt Morris. Reed Austin on at first base and nobody out in the Sabercat sixth. Uh, throw to first base, a little bit closer this time, but Again, Austin back ahead of the throw. And the 2-2 is a breaking ball. That's inside. That one just about got Morris. And the count's full. Quick throw to first. Austin back standing. And the 3-2. And it's high for ball four. It's a good at bat there for Matt Morris. Fouled off a couple of two strike pitches and uh, finally worked the walk from Hurt. So two aboard with nobody out to begin the bottom of the sixth inning for Saguaro. And the batter is Turner Lace who walked in the second, flied out in the third and struck out in the fifth. Sabercats in control here in the bottom of the sixth inning, leading six to nothing. Trying to win the third place game here in the 2012 Scottsdale Invitational. Number 20, Turner Lace. And a check swing, and that's fouled off the face of the first base dugout for a strike. And the next one inside and low, and it's one ball and one strike. Pitch near the inside corner, a called strike, and it's one and two. And Lace fouls the next one out of play on the first base side. And that pitch hits Lace, and that'll load the bases. be Brett Adams. And Gilbert has just uh, struggled here. Lace still bothered there. He's uh, down the line after he touched first base. They're going to give him a second to walk around. But uh, Gilbert has struggled just to kind of uh, from the fundamentals. Three errors in this ball game. We talked about uh, Urbina's first outing against Saguaro. Last Wednesday, gave up eight runs, but only one was earned. Gilbert had four errors in that game last week against Saguaro, and they've got three in this one. As the first one, Adams, is over for a strike. Now, 
swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Tiger pitchers, 10 walks today. It's a lot of free bases for the Sabercats. 10 walks plus a hit batter, so 11 free passes as the next one is low and away, one and two. So Hurt has loaded the bases on two walks and a hit batter. And nobody out of the bottom of the sixth inning ahead of here in the count of Brad Adams trying to get him for the first out, the one-two pitch. And a breaking ball outside, two and two. And a ball fouled out of play. Two and two on Adam Sheen. Stansbury next for Saguaro. Uh, pitch outside, and it's three and two. Adam's back in there and ready as Hertz up there. Nowhere to put him on three and two, but a swing and a miss, and Adam strikes out. And one away for Shane Stansbury, who's been on base all three times today. A double, a single, and a walk in his three trips. And the first one is Stansbury over for a strike. 6 nothing Saguaro. Sabercats batting in the bottom of the sixth. The 0-1. Boy, that's right into the Gilbert dugout. Everybody okay, though, as it uh, was up high and hit off the back wall of the dugout and came back into foul territory. Heard out of the windup in the 0-2, and that's bounced in. One ball and two strikes. He's gone to a three-ball count on three of the first four hitters. And then ball into right field, and that's going to get past the right fielder, and it's a track meet now as two runs will score. Coming around to score is Lace. Stansbury is going to be held at third. It's a three-run triple, and it's 9 nothing Saguaro. Stansbury now just a home run short of the cycle. He clears the bases for the Sabercats. It's now 9 0. And the game ending run is 90 feet away as Stansbury is. Over at third base, and the batter is Nick Lagusis. And Lagusis takes a strike. Infield in on the grass. The outfield has had to come in a couple of steps. And Hurt with the next one. That's tapped foul on the first base side, and it's 0-2. Well, again, if Saguaro can push in another run here in the sixth inning, the game would end in six. It is a 10-run mercy rule. The 0 2. Outside for a ball, 1 and 2. The 1 2 pitch. And a cue shot on the first base side. It's just foul. Like, like, 
And a ground ball over to third. That's grabbed there. The throw on to first base is in time for the second out of the inning. So Lagusas grounds out. Good one with a nice pickup over there at third base. And now a pinch hitter for Saguaro. As Dakota Ristad bats. Ristad in there to bat. And he takes strike one from Hurt. Ground ball chopped to short. Grab there. They throw to first base. Uh, call him out at first, and that will uh, allow Gilbert to hit in the top of the seventh inning. It looked like Ristad might have beat that out. The Saguaro dugout sure thought he might have. But it goes as a 6-3 ground down, and that ends the sixth inning. Sabercats score three more times, though, and after six innings of play, they lead Gilbert by a score of 9 to nothing. Another pitching change here for Saguaro as Nick Maservi is on to throw the seventh inning, and the first pitch is high for ball one. As uh, the batter is DJ Hurd for Gilbert. And the next pitch high, two balls and no strikes. Jake Schwartz for Saguaro goes three innings, allows one hit, no runs, one walk, one strikeout. Only threw 27 pitches unofficially to get through those three innings as the next one is high, and it's 3-0. and oh. And pitch over for a strike, and it's 3-1. and one. Heard walked in the second and flat out to end the fourth. A 3-1 pitch. And it's uh, called a ball. So ball four and a leadoff walk as Hurd goes to first base. And the batter is Travis Goodwin. Changes throughout the uh, outfield for Saguaro as Dakota Ristad stays in the ball game and he uh, goes to left field. Michael Bloom is the new center fielder and Stephen Gifford is the new right fielder. Throw to first base, close over there, but the runner back. The first one, a good one, a called strike. Good one, grounded out and popped out on his first two at bats. Nine nothing, Saber Cats. Gilbert batting in the top of the seventh inning. Pitch missed by much inside, I guess, and it's one and one. Next one high and outside, two and one. Soft little liner into right field. Just off the handle and uh, just not hit very hard at all, but it'll work for the Tigers as good one. The number nine hitter gets his first base hit. Now the first two aboard with nobody out. And it's back to the top of the Gilbert order. And a pinch hitter. Zach Raymer, the pinch hitter. And he takes the first one low for ball one. Sabercats with a run in the first inning, one in the fourth. They scored four in the fifth inning and three in the sixth. As the pitch is over for a strike and it's one and one. Mm -hmm. 
Tigers coming off an 11-1 win over Carl Hayden yesterday, and they have not been able to dent the scoreboard here against Saguaro. Got a chance here, though, on a ground ball base hit into center field. Runner waved around third base. The throw comes back into the infield, and it's an RBI base hit and a pinch hit for Remmer. So Hurd scores to make it 9-1. to one. And now time call, and they're going to re-enter Marcus Celaya over at first base. So he's back in to run for the Tigers. Two aboard with nobody out and a run in. And the batter is Caden Tomlinson. And Tomlinson takes the first one for a ball. Set in the 1-0. Popped up. Allen out of play on the third base side. It's 1-1. One one. Sabercats with just a couple of games next week. They'll play at 11 o'clock on Tuesday against Arcadia. And then a 345 game on the road at Shadow Mountain on Wednesday. It's a fastball from a survey is high, and it's 2-1. And one. So we're all trying to move to 5-2 and two on the season. One high, three and one, a walk, and two base hits have started the inning for Gilbert. The three one pitch. And that misses for ball four, and that will load the bases. So Gilbert's going to make a little more noise here in this seventh inning. And time is called from the uh, Saguaro dugout. Playing in the top of the seventh, Saguaro leads Gilbert nine to one. Dustin Peterson going after the first pitch and fouls it back out of play. There's a pitch at the knees for a strike and it's 0-2. Base is loaded, nobody out, a run in for Gilbert in the seventh. Nine to one the score, the 0-2. Fastball outside, one ball and two strikes. Justin McAllister next for Gilbert. And a chopper over to third. Tap of the bag there, the throw across the diamond, and that's a double play. Another run is in, but the Sabercats will trade that run for two outs all day long. Lace with a heads up play there. That ball taking him to his right. Makes it a pretty easy play to just tap the bag and then it's a throw across to first base to complete the double play. Goodwin scores and again, as I said, it makes it nine to two. Now Tomlinson at second base and McAllister at the plate and he takes strike one. Pitch and a ground ball now, making a line drive, and that's past Lagusis and into right field. The throw cut off. It's an RBI base hit for Justin McAllister to make it nine to three. And the batter is Taylor Stapley. Now batting from Gilbert, number 34, Taylor Stapley. First one to Stapley misses for ball one. Throw out a first base and the runner back. And a foul ball out of play. First base side, it's one and one. The 
one one pitch. And yeah, that's foul to the backstop. Tigers down to their final strike here in the seventh inning. And a breaking ball. That one's fouled to the screen. Another one, two, and another one foul back. And out of play. Three earned runs in for Gilbert here in the seventh inning. And the survey with another one, two. That's outside, two balls and two strikes. Easy throw to first again, and McAllister is back. Tigers off until Thursday when they travel to Highland. Ball fouled off. And then they're back at home on Friday when they host the Skyline Coyotes. So are we trying to get through this seventh inning here? The 2 2 pitch. And a ground ball out to Lagusas at second. He'll flip it to Morris at second base. And that will do it. A 4-6 force out ends the ball game as Stapley hits into the fielder's choice to end it. Gilbert gets three runs in the seventh inning, and they do it on three base hits. No errors. They leave one. And we go final as Saguaro beats Gilbert by a final score of 9-9. To three totals on the ball game for Gilbert, three runs on six hits. And they commit three errors and they leave eight runners on base. Saguaro scores nine times on nine base hits. They commit one error and Saguaro leaves 10 runners on base. The winning pitcher is Jake Schwartz. The loss is charged to Alex Urbina. And uh, with the win, Saguaro improves to five and two on the season. Gilbert drops to three and five. Sabercats back at it on Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock first pitch against Arcadia. It's spring break week, I guess, and so it's uh, a day game, an early day game, 11 o'clock, the first pitch on Tuesday for Saguaro and Arcadia, and then the Sabercats on the road on Wednesday over at Shadow Mountain. So that'll do it. Again, our final score, it's Saguaro 9 and Gilbert 3. From Saguaro High School in Scottsdale, Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long, and we'll talk to you on Tuesday morning.